So I realize I'm over a year late with this video, but recently I picked up a PlayStation 5 and I also picked up Spider-Man Miles Morales on the PlayStation 5. Now when this game first came out, I did play it on the PS4, but I lost interest in it very, very quickly because other things were coming out. I just bought an Xbox Series X. I was playing some stuff on the Xbox Series X and Miles Morales kind of got pushed to the side. Sadly, because this is a fantastic game. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about my experiences playing Miles Morales on the PlayStation 5 with the PlayStation 5 hardware, as well as comparing it to its counterpart, the Peter Parker version of Spider-Man. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Robert Storm. As always, if you're finding me for the very first time, please do me a huge favor, smash that like and subscribe button. That way you guys can stay up to date on all future content here on the channel. So Spider-Man Miles Morales was one of the launch titles for the PlayStation 5, but it was also on the PlayStation 4. Since it was really hard to find a PlayStation 5, I just picked it up on the PlayStation 4. And like I said, I pretty much lost interest in it. I did beat the original Spider-Man when it launched on the PlayStation 4, and I really, really enjoyed that game. So now, over a year later, with the PlayStation 5 finally in my possession, I was able to play Spider-Man Miles Morales. This game is fantastic, fun to play, Fun to just go in this world. I love the Christmas, the snow, winter atmosphere within New York City. Miles Morales has always been a character that I loved so very much. And I just enjoyed playing this game. Now, one of the biggest gripes you're going to hear from a lot of people is that this game is just too short. It's like a DLC. I actually put that in one of the positives because I like my games not being drug out. And that's one of my biggest problems with the Peter Parker Spider-Man on the PlayStation 4 is because, yes, it's a fantastic game, but toward the mid to the end of that, that game, you're just sitting there going, man, I just feel like I'm doing busy work now. Like, I just want to finish this game. I like my games being anywhere between five and eight hours. If I want to play a long extended game, I'll play an RPG or an open world, like MMO or something of that nature. But when it comes to like these licensed games, yes, you want to get your, your dollar amount value for the game, but there comes a time where why am I sitting here solving these electricity problems for Doc Ock? I'd rather be taking out another villain, get to the next part in the storyline and all that stuff. And I felt like comparing Miles Morales to the Peter Parker Spider-Man, Miles Morales for the most part was very cut and dry. Here's your story, go do it. Yes, here's the thing. You have, just like in the Peter Parker Spider-Man game, you have plenty of different side things you can do. You can go stop criminals, you can go solve your Uncle Aaron's like little things, and you can upgrade your equipment, do all that stuff. So just like the Peter Parker game, you can go throughout New York, it's an open sandbox, and you can do other stuff other than just the main mission. But what I like about this is, if you just want to jump in the game, play the game, Boom, you can finish the game in about five hours. If you want to do the extra stuff, it's about maybe a 10 to maybe 12 hour experience overall. Just like the Peter Parker game, you can just do the story in that as well, and it's gonna be a much shorter game, but I just felt like there was a lot more busy work. I really enjoyed my time with Miles Morales. It felt like I was playing the game, I was having fun, and I wasn't just sitting there feeling like, oh, I've gotta do this hideous, horrible task in order to get to the next part of the story i just want to go swing and beat up stuff and miles morales for the most part delivered i love miles morales's special abilities i like his venom power it's one of the fantastic abilities that he has and most of all i want to talk about this game when it comes to the performance the graphics and everything involved with the playstation 5 upgrade when i originally played this game last year on the ps4 it was great but I didn't feel like it was anything different than I already played from the Peter Parker game, except for Miles Morales. In this game, being able to switch to, you know, graphics mode or performance mode really makes a difference. I started off on graphics mode, I'm like, let's see what this game looks like in 4K. And then I switched it over to performance mode, RT with race tracing, and playing this game at a locked 60 frames per second with race tracing just made this game look magnificent. This game just looked beautiful. I do feel like the resolution, for the most part, does get a little overrated. Yes, you want to play your game to 4K, 
but do you want to play a game that's in 4K at 30 frames per second where it's just kind of like wonky, or do you want to play a game at 1440p and play it with 60 frames per second so you're still getting a higher resolution, but you're also getting that, that smooth silkiness of the 60 frames per second which in turn makes the gameplay look that much better makes it look next gen and much more appealing to the eye and going through new york city watching the snowfall and just playing this game at 60 frames per second with the ray tracing and having the optic feedback on the controller all that really really just immersed you into the game and this was one of the best experiences i played playing a game this past year miles morales definitely lived up to the hype and for me personally i much enjoyed this game more than i did the peter parker spider-man game not to say that i didn't enjoy the peter parker spider-man game i just felt like it was one of those family members that came over and just kind of like overstayed their welcome going through the like millionth different version of doc ox electrical code thing and then fighting all these different bosses the lead up to this at some point you're just like hey i, I kind of wish you would go home now okay it was nice having you can you go home miles Morales cuts to the chase you establish his relationship with peter you establish his relationship with Fen Fen, Genki, his mother, his uncle, and it's a very, very tight, cohesive story that is just a nice flavor. It's in, it's out, it doesn't overstay its welcome. And at the end of the day, Miles Morales on the PlayStation 5 was a damn good game. And I can't wait to see these two team up in upcoming Spider Man 2. So, guys, that's my thoughts on Spider-Man Miles Morales on the PlayStation 5. I'm wondering what you guys think. Be sure to leave your comments in the comment box below. And until next time, as always, I am Robert Storms, and that's my opinion.